Have you ever wondered why mindfulness, a seemingly simple concept of being present, holds such a profound impact on our lives? In today's relentless pace of life, mindfulness serves as a quiet sanctuary, aiding in stress reduction, sharpening focus and amplifying emotional well-being. It is a universal language that transcends cultural boundaries, effortlessly weaving itself into the fabric of societies across the globe. As we delve deeper into the world of mindfulness, we find a myriad of practices from different cultures, each with its unique flavor and essence. If we were to embark on a journey exploring mindfulness around the globe, we would stumble upon a stark contrast between the East and the West. In the East, mindfulness practices are often deeply rooted in ancient spiritual traditions, such as Buddhism and Hinduism. These practices typically involve meditation and yoga, rituals that promote inner peace and spiritual enlightenment by focusing the mind and controlling the breath. On the other hand, the West has embraced a more contemporary approach to mindfulness. With roots in modern psychology, Western mindfulness focuses on stress relief and self-improvement, it's not uncommon to find mindfulness being incorporated into everyday activities such as walking or eating. The goal here is to promote full presence in the moment, fostering a sense of peace in every task, no matter how mundane. Despite their differences, both Eastern and Western practices share a common goal, nurturing a sense of peace and presence in the midst of life's chaos. From the tranquil Zen gardens in Japan to the bustling streets of New York, mindfulness takes on a multitude of forms. Across the globe, various cultures have developed unique practices to cultivate awareness and presence. In the East, Japan's Zen meditation is a practice of stillness and contemplation. Meditators sit in silence, focusing on their breath or a simple phrase known as a koan, to quiet the mind and achieve a state of serene awareness. Meanwhile, in India, yoga integrates mindfulness into physical movement. The practice involves a series of postures, each held with a mindful attention to breath and body sensation. Yoga not only cultivates mindfulness, but also promotes physical health and flexibility. On the other side of the globe, in the West, mindfulness has found its way into our daily meals through mindful eating. This practice encourages us to slow down and savor every bite, paying close attention to the flavors, textures and aroma of our food. It's not just about eating, but about appreciating the nourishment we receive from each meal. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are countless other practices from Tai Chi in China to walking meditations in the forests of Europe. Each practice, though unique in execution, shares a common goal to foster a state of conscious presence where we fully engage with the here and now. Regardless of the method, every practice invites us to the same destination, a state of serene awareness where we are fully engaged with the present moment. Having explored mindfulness practices from around the world, one might wonder, which one should I choose? It's a question that echoes in the minds of many, but the beauty of mindfulness is its adaptability. It's not a one-size-fits-all solution, but a rich tapestry of practices that can be tailored to your unique needs, lifestyle, and aspirations. You might find solace in the Zen gardens of Japan or the rhythmic chants of Tibetan monks, Perhaps the stillness of Vipassana resonates with you, or the dynamic flow of Qigong. It's a smorgasbord of experiences, and you're invited to sample, explore, and savor. This journey of embracing mindfulness is highly personal, a voyage of self-discovery and connection. It's not about following a rigid path, but carving your own, guided by curiosity and compassion. As you embark on your mindfulness journey, remember, the goal isn't to reach a destination but to cultivate an ongoing relationship with the present moment, a relationship that transcends boundaries and cultures.